What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get beta access to the new TeamSpeak client. It's somewhat similar to Discord, or at least from what I've seen. I haven't been able to see much of it, well, simply because it's a closed beta and not everyone will have access to it. While this video is basically a how-to of downloading and using the software, at the time of recording, you will still need to sign up for a beta key. If you haven't done so already, that'll be included in this video. And if you have, it's still worthwhile logging in to check to see if you've been given access. I wasn't sent an email or anything like that showing me that I have access, but I did see a tweet on their Twitter account saying that they've opened the door to more beta testers. This tweet over here. Shall we unlock more beta testers? This should take us halfway through May 2021 in a single wave for new testers. Don't forget to find the beta chat rooms so you can share your experiences with the community and the TS team. Showing a little video that ends with beta.teamspeak.com. That's exactly where we'll be heading. Whether you signed up or you haven't signed up just yet, let's head across to this link, linked in the description down below. Beta.teamspeak.com takes you to a page that looks something like this. If you don't already have a TeamSpeak account, you'll need to create one and sign up for beta access. If you have a TeamSpeak account, then simply sign in with your details here. And if you've previously requested beta access, sign in anyway, and hopefully you'll have access to it. Otherwise, sometime in the near future, you should. So for now, I'll go ahead and create a new account just before I show you what it's like when you do have access. So I'll click register a new account if you don't have one. And after you create it, all you need to do is head across to your email client and then confirm your account. You'll be sent a link that you simply just need to click. So that's exactly what I did. Now my account's been activated and I can log in. If I log in here, you'll see this. Welcome to my TeamSpeak and not much else. What we need to do is head back to beta.teamspeak.com and sign in there instead. After signing in, you'll see logging in and then this page over here. If you see this page, you currently don't have beta access and all you need to do is click sign up for the beta down here unless you have a beta badge code, which you can enter up here. The no code option simply just tells you to sign up for the beta. So upon clicking this, it now says that you're on the waiting list. Please check your badge list from time to time to check to see if you have the test badge or come back to this page and check if you've been granted access. If I close this browser and head back to a browser I'm logged into, you'll see it looks something more like this. Logged in as Technobo, download the Windows MSI, the Linux package, or the Mac OS installer. I'll download the MSI for Windows, to install the new TeamSpeak client. I'll simply click on it to open it when it's done downloading. Currently, the download's around 110 megabytes. When the installer does start up, you'll see this. Click next, I agree, next, choose a place to install, and I'll create a desktop shortcut, next, and install once again. And eventually we should be able to launch up the program, either keeping this checked or by using the new shortcut on our desktop. Note that you will still have the original TeamSpeak client installed and you can start that up as well. Starting up the new TeamSpeak client, this is what it looks like. I'll click get started and presumably I'll need to log into this. There we go. I'll go ahead and log in here. So of course, do keep in mind that even if you do get this download somehow, you will still need an account that has access to the beta. Then we have the recovery key. Enter your recovery key to recover data. If you've lost your recovery key, you can attempt to recover data that is stored on this device. So I'll click recover without key. Recovering without your recovery key will cause loss of your chat messages and potentially bookmarks. I don't have any of these, so I'll click confirm. What you want to do is hover over the text up here and save it into a place that you won't lose it. There we go. Now I've gone ahead and saved it. So I'll tick the box and click finish. Then you can choose light dark theme, continue and finish setup. Now the actual program started up and you'll see all of the bookmarks from your previous install of TeamSpeak, which of course you can start up as well if you'd like. In fact, here's the older copy of TeamSpeak I currently have installed. If I simply connect to a server and then check out myself, you can see I've got a bunch of badges selected all the way from TeamSpeak early adopter up to whatever else I have for the server. Let's go ahead and quit out of the normal TeamSpeak client and try the new TeamSpeak client over here. The servers seem to be slightly out of order, but I'll simply select the server that I was in previously. The icon spins and I were dropped into the server as per usual. You can join chats and talk as you would previously and it works pretty much the same. You can click on people to view their badge showcase, but that's basically it. From here on out, it's just the normal TeamSpeak experience with a new UI. Of course, you can join multiple servers and view them over here and you can leave them with a little X showing up there. If we click the contacts list over here, you'll find contacts and rooms over here as well. I would assume that you can create rooms, talk to people and message them privately as you would with something like Discord. So of course, without turning this into a tutorial for actual TeamSpeak, that is how you install it and set it up. Thank you for watching this video. My name has been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.